guys, welcome to my channel. So today I have something really serious and I was considering if I should make this video and I didn't want it to and I was just back and forth, back and forth, what should I do? And I have decided to make this video. It is a very honest video. Ever since my book came out, they went nuts, I'm telling you, like crazy nuts, like full force against me. Everybody I know in the Free Fire community hate me right now because I'm exposing all the secrets. So I feel like I need to make this video to address some stuff, what's going on. And if you have read the title, it says, Bury a Friend. And there's a friend I have to bury. All right, so let's get started. There's a free fly friend that I honored and love, and I've been free flying with him since one and a half years. When nobody knew about him, I took him under my wings and I gave him all the locations where to fly. I gave him a lot of training advice and I always stick to his side. This friend now, his name is Ryan, is now publicly speaking out against me in a very hurtful way. And I just feel like I need to address this as soon as possible because this is all fresh. This is all going down this week. Let's flash back three months ago. Let me pull this up on my, on my phone. So the free flight community is always fighting. There's always like hate and, and jealousy and I'm exposing everything in my book. And since my book come out, like everything is stirred up. The whole free flight community is stirred up, but there's so much division. And let's just flash back three months ago. So three months ago, Ryan was an admin in my USA free flight parrot group because we are friends. Like he, I flew with him and Robert. We were the Los Angeles free flyer before I opened up my heart to Nicole and before Nicole came in and everything went downhill after Nicole came in. But anyway, so let's get back to the subject. So um, I made Ryan the admin of my free flight group. There was two ladies who are always like starting strife and fighting and Ryan reached out to me texting me saying this I'm leaving USA Parrot Group now USA Parrot Group I'm the admin I'm leaving USA Parrot Group and I was like why I can't stay I can't stand all this fucking miserable woman who Sarah now Sarah is a woman who's a free flyer in Sacramento she was the admin before in my group and now Ryan started all this like Julie Julie fucking bitch I was like what happened is she an admin no can I delete her haha -ha. yes you can Sarah came in to protect her so they are kind of like a tag team so Sarah and Julie were always like no supporting each other when Julie starts to fight Sarah backs her up so they are like really close they're really buddies so Ryan texts me that what did Julie did to him and Julie attacked him. So this whole conversation went down that he asked me if I can like delete her. And I says, go ahead, you are admin, you can delete her. And now <laughs> this whole thing kind of like is so paradox and so twisted because he is now friends with her. But even though he hated her in the first place, like if you read this post, um, right here he says I remove her um, it got I remove her um, and then he says Sarah can leave too if she wants I'm tired of those bitches and then I stick to Ryan's side I says Ryan I'm on your side you are my friend I always stick to Ryan whatever he did and he's like bitches um, she was not being nice. She basically told that guy to not do what I says because I was wrong. And then I kind of advise him and says, well, you can always switch off comments because you are admin and you can just like, you know, um, or you can ban her because you're an admin. And he was like, I think eventually you will have to remove Sarah anyway because she just follows whoever. 
and good idea, ha ha ha. So, and then I say, well, I don't want to remove Sarah yet because she's still an admin and I respect her and I honor her. But I say, let's see what's her next step. And if she starts strife and being toxic and hateful and mean, like, you know, we'll remove her from our group. So she, and Ryan says, like, I can't stand this anymore. Um... And I kind of like try to calm him down and say like, hey, one of my coaches once says, don't do anything when you are angry. So I gave Ryan good advice, but he says he's always angry. It's all about parrots. I wish I have never had birds. This whole conversation and like I'm being really supportive and he just like went ahead, <laughs> banned her and then Sarah left and then... I told him, hey, you can still be part of USA Free Flight Group if you want to. Like, you don't need to go. He's like, no, I'm done. I don't want to stay in any parent groups. So he left my group and he made sure that those two left too. So all of a sudden I was like, wow, <laughs> I just lost an admin and I lost two members. So, and I stick at Ryan's side. So this was my heart. This is what I'm, I was doing with Ryan the whole time. If there was a fight or drama, I always stick to his side. And then there was this other situation where this lady, um, is a really, really nice lady. Um, she has a bird store in Arizona and I just scroll one time through Facebook and she's a free flyer and she sells birds. And I just was so shocked that she clipped birds and she's promoting clipping because we all are free flyers, right? And she's a free flyer too. So I kind of like, um, text Ryan, I was like, hey, do you know that um, Debbie is pro clipping? And he just went off on her. And I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> but I stick to his side. I totally like agree that clipping is not okay. Okay, this was all kind of like when we were still friends and everything was good, right? The free flight community is so divided, so hateful. It's, it's not a snake pit. It's really too nice. They are a parasite nest. That's what they are. After this whole drama, I was like sticking by Ryan's side and there was this whole um, other, another drama going down with Nicole because Ryan had five more cars and he gave them all away and it was really a heartbreaking moment to see that and I always stick by his side even though I did not agree with his decisions I was always a true friend till the end. Uh, fast forward to this week once my book got released like Ryan totally backstabbed me and it's so hurtful because you know Ryan was my friend and I still see him and consider him as a friend he was so close to me like a brother he and Robert we were like the free flyers you know and I was just like really sad when I when I read all these comments and there's a free, another free flyer her name is Mary Ann and she is well, very well known in the free flight community to always lose birds. Like, I wrote about her in my book. So, the first time I ever flew with another free flyer was with Mary Ann. And I wrote it all in my book, but Mary Ann constantly lose her bird. The first time that Hope had a free flight date with other macaws was with Mary Ann Macaws. And we had three good flights, and all of a sudden, after she fed them breakfast, all her three macaws flew away and they were lost for over like eight hours they flew away and i was so shocked i was so shocked i was a new free flyer it was like in 2017 i was so shocked that a a free flyer who's been doing free flying since over 10 years is losing birds and i was like wow so i stick by her side and i help her do search and rescue with her birds and all the time the eight hours she was very aggressive towards me very fierce and i had to suck it up and i didn't say anything i was like okay i gave some suggestion and she was like I don't need your suggestion. I need to do what I want to do. And if I want to go over the mountains, I'm going to go over the mountains to look for my birds. I was like, okay, that's your call. And then uh, she was like, oh, we need our RTV. Let's go get an RTV. And then I was asking campers when we were giving out flyers because she had already prepared flyers for lost birds because she's already a pro in losing birds. And we went to those camps that has little ATVs and she, we, she, we were passing out flyers. And I was asking like um, those people, hey, can we use one of your ATV to go look for the birds? 
And they say, of course, no, it's the EVT ATV. It was strangers, people that we just pass out flies. But I thought maybe a miracle can happen. Somebody can give us an ATV so we can like drive over the humps and just find her birds faster. And then she turned around at me and it was a good gesture in my heart. She turned around at me and with a very angry spirit, she was like, don't ask people for the ATVs. Those people will never give us ATVs. Like, you just need to lose common sense. I was like, wow, okay. <laughs> well, it was really intense search and rescue that day. And I had to step away. I went to go get Chinese food and I kind of buy them a meal, her and her husband, you know, and I was like, okay, this has been like really a long day just waiting and searching and hiking and have all this negativity coming over us. So I just decided to like, I have to go home because back then Hope was still a baby and he needed his formula. So I left right before sunset. I think two hours later I got a text from Mary Ann saying, oh, her birds arrived and they came back. And I was like, wow, good, very, I'm very happy for you. And Mary Ann also had once a convention where she was spoke, speaking to, she had once a convention where she was speaking to. And in this convention, she wanted to like uh, promote free flying. And she got all her birds out, all her three birds. And guess what? There was over 200 people watching this convention coming out from the conference room just to like watch how, how amazing free fly is. And that specific day, she let out her birds and they flew away. They were lost for three days and she had to go do search and rescue again. And people were just shaking her head and she put like a really bad rep on free flying. Like she's constantly losing her birds and she's free flying for what, since over 10 years or something or so. Another situation with me and Mary Ann is that when I lost hope, and faith in the white sands beginning of 2018. I was really down. I was shuddered and my heart was so torn. And it was on day two, like when I called her and says my birds are gone. What I gave her credit is she came all the way from Arizona to help me search for her birds. And that was really nice of her. But the way how she did it was not nice. Because imagine, since two days my birds were gone and she was so negative. If somebody loses their birds, you are not negative. You don't like push down in the wound and twist the wound even more. You lift them up and you say, you'll get it back. Just think positive, just um, have faith. A miracle is gonna happen, but no. She came, helped me search that day to kind of like do good because I helped her search in the first time. And then in the evening, she was so negative. Like I was crying, I was heartbroken, I needed my birds back. And she told me like, your birds are dead. They will never come back. Hope is not strong enough to survive uh, without food and without water for three days in the desert. You'll never see your birds again. And I was like, wow. <laughs> in that moment I was like, holy shit, like, wow. And I got so angry and I stood, and she was like sitting in a restaurant, you know, after we did search and rescue. And I, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, and she was eating and drinking. And I was like, wow. So I stood up, like really angry, like her stealing my faith and my hope when my real faith and hope was gone and lost. And now she even like dragged me down even more. And I stood up and I was like, listen, my birds are not dead. My birds are still out there and they are waiting for me to come rescue them. Hope is strong. He's gonna survive this and I'm gonna get my birds back by tomorrow and you are gonna see it. I was so angry that she was robbing my hope and my faith. And sure enough, a day later, early in the morning, I woke up and it was such a miracle because like three days later, in the same time where hope flew away, I got hope back. The same time where faith flew away, I got faith back. And if I would have listened to her and not and stopped searching, I wouldn't have got faith and hope back. It's not okay for somebody to steal your faith when your faith is already shuttered and down and you're downcast and you are sad and depressed. And I mean, losing birds is such a heartbreaking moment. And then being even like negative about it, it's not okay. Okay, so this is Mary Ann, right? So now, fast forward to this week. Now, I saw a post which is totally public because I'm still friends with Mary Ann. I see a post that is totally public that she posts and how Ryan is talking shit about me. And I was like, oh no, 
crying? What happened to you? Why are you doing this? Okay, so let's just go into it. Let me show you what she's saying. So there's this whole group and Ryan is saying, I can't believe I was friends with her for so long. Constantly defending her. Finally, I had to throw the towel. She's insane. Christina answer, it's nice to have you back, Ryan. Ha ha ha. Ryan says, oh, thank you. I feel liberated. <laughs> Ryan, seriously? Okay, and then Sarah, actually, the Sarah that Ryan kicked out from my group <laughs> now backs Ryan up and says, Ryan, we believe you. No proof needed. This is the toxic community I'm talking about. It's all about backstabbing. It's all about hate. It's all about jealousy and turning on each other. No, Sarah says, um, Nartistic is very good at the Nartistic people are very good at their games. Often capture the good in people and using it to their advantage. And Ryan answered her, I agree, she was very good at manipulating her views and actions towards what was right. It was easy to follow along. Okay, so Ryan, I've never manipulated you. I've never done anything to harm you. I'm always a true friend and I stood always by your side and I always told you the truth. And I can prove it. Okay, let's move on. Then there's this guy who says, Robert, you must be fucking kidding me. She has a book, seriously? And Sarah answered him, yep, yeah, right, kind of scary. Robert says, beyond scary, does she still have her two hyacinths? She is cert she's a certified lunatic. And, then, um, and they are all under one roof. Like they are all in the same pot, the same soup of toxic tea. I've never done anything wrong to anybody. I've never hurt anybody in the free flight community. My book comes out and everybody gang up against me. It's so disgusting, so toxic. And as you can see, look at that, the spirit. It's beyond, like, beyond comprehension. And this is the people I have been dealing with since two and a half years of my life. It's ever since I started free flying. But Sarah is saying like, those people are not happy that I'm exposing them. I'm exposing all the dirty little secrets in free flying, especially the starvation of birds, which is totally cruel, abusive, and it's a real thing. This is reality. You think like free flying is all about happy flight parrots and they are like all happy and flying in the air. But no, there's a control spirit behind this society. Society. It's a secret society who doesn't want to share information with you and my book reveals it all and they are hating. They have nothing else to do than to hate. Okay, so Sarah answered like this whole thing like saying that um, I, I am putting now a bad rap on free flying and exposing them but in truth they are putting a bad rap on free flying. It's not me. It's you guys. Like, if you guys are watching, and I'm sure you are watching, you are putting yourself free flying on, in a bad light. Okay, now, let's fast forward. Julie comments and says, split personalities, and now this is so evil. Now, can you sense the spirit? Because this is calling for fraud. Mary Ann is calling for fraud against me. I have already reported this to the police. Okay, they are investigating right now. But anyway, just want to say, FYI, if you have Amazon Prime and rent a book for free, the author still gets paid. A better approach is to buy the book and return it. Then the author does not receive payment. Wow! <laughs> Guys, isn't this crazy? Isn't this evil? Isn't this like coming from a place of deception and dishonesty? And this is from Mary Ann. This lady is like in her 60s or 70s, I don't know how old, and she's such a bully. Wow. Organize hate. Organize hate and fraud against me and my book because I'm telling the truth. This is what I'm dealing with, where somebody says, oh, she messed up with food management and weight management. No, I know exactly what I'm doing. I don't mess up food management and weight management. I've been free flying for two and a half years. I know exactly what they mean. Now, Mary Ann answers this question, says, I wish she was that simple or stupid. I believe it's all about creating drama so her hits will go up. She has us eating out of her greedy hands 
and it's getting so much more attention by stirring up the free flight community, which creates more controversy and fuel for her fire. No doubt this is bad for us all and another publicity stunt for her. All in all, a quest for fame and money. Wonder if she ever read the parable about the woman who cut off her nose to spite her face. <sighs> What should I say against this? Like, I have no words. <laughs> My jaw is like <laughs> dropping. Mary Ann, do you feel the spirit? Do you feel this hate? Do you feel this? These are real people in the free flight community. I never did anything to Mary Ann. Ever, ever. Last time I saw her, I hugged her and I kissed her and I gave her a gift. Like, and now she calls me stupid, calling for fraud, and she's putting out there herself as somebody who's really a bad influence. Okay, and then Julie, the Julie we talk about that got kicked out by Ryan from my group, is now backing her up, who's always also striving drama and um, hate. And she says, don't... She says, please don't help influence the self-serving person by watching her videos on YouTube or buying her book. She makes money off a certain amount of views. She clickbaits her video with captivating titles that entice you to watch. Their videos are ridiculous and non-important and non-educational. Okay. So that's, that's, that's it. Okay. So Julie, if you're watching, I've never wanted to be an educational channel. There are so many other amazing bird channel out there that's educational. I'm a filmmaker. I wanted to be entertaining. I wanted to be an entertainer. And then with free flying, stuff happens, drama happens. I just hold my phone on it and record it and put it up on YouTube and all these subscribers came because they love this shit. Like, I never said I'm an educational channel. Like, all my content is entertainment. And even that video that you hated, where you watch it, it was entertainment. And you say, oh my gosh, this is a horror scene. And I was so nice to you. And I, I reach out to you privately and say, hey, what is a horror scene? Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Oh, you are, gosh, get over yourself. Like, seriously, don't you have anything other to do than to spread hate and toxic? And you are adding towards the fire and free flight. I really needed to get this out of my system so you guys see where I'm coming from. Those people are always there to hate and to be angry and to start strife and drama. And now they're all ganging up against me because my book is really revealing something that is hitting in the core of their hearts. The whole free flight community is twisted. Good is bad and bad is good. They kind of like twist it around. And everything that's good will be like, hammered down as bad and my book is good and now it's gonna hammer get hammered down as bad and those people are just living in fear don't know what they're doing and i just have this deep compassion for them i'm not hating on them i'm just showing the facts i'm just putting a mirror in front of their faces so they can see who they really are and now a word to ryan ryan if you are watching this I don't know why you went against me. I didn't go against you. I never wanted this drama. You turn on Yara, you turn on Pilar, you turn on Fernando, and you turn on Gilmore Love's brother just because he started plugging. He was a baby, he was perfect. He came from the breeder in a perfect condition. He got into your hands, he started having babel problems, started picking his wings flatter and started plucking. Once he started plucking and he couldn't fly anymore, you sold him away to Simon. Like you turn also on Gilmore. And then, okay, Lito died. You turn on five of your birds. And now you turn on Debbie telling that she's a liberal shit just because she's a Trump supporter. You turn on Sarah and you turn on Julie. And now you're talking with them. You told me you hate Mary Ann and you're flying with her. You turn on me. You turn on Robert. Who else are you turning to? Oh, yes. Let me, let me, let me show you who else you're turning to. You turn on your own husband, Sven. Let me read what he says. I resent him because he doesn't pay his bills and he's an artist and I have to support him. That's from you. You turn on your own husband. The man who loves you. The man who lives with you in your house. Wow. Ryan, 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 Ryan. 
Okay, who else are you going to turn to next? Now you're turning to this parasite nest of free flyers and... <laughs> are you going to turn on them too? Or are they just going to turn on you? That's the question. Alrighty, so that's it, Ryan. I'm just going to say goodbye, old friend. That's it. I'm going to bury you. And I wish you a lot of luck and happiness with those new friends. Enjoy them as long as you have them. <laughs> Still, because one day they're going to turn on you too, like you turn on others. It's all about backstabbing all the time. It doesn't take long until they turn around and backstab you. I try to help you to get a new baby after you abandon all five of your, four of your birds. One died. But I supported him. He has no money. Okay, so now, Ryan, this was my response to you. Ryan, I know lethal deaths hurt. Ryan, I know lethal's death hurts, but in your pain, you can't isolate yourself and push your family and your loved ones away from you. If you blame those Sven, who will you have if he leaves you? You'll be alone. Sven is a wonderful husband. He loves you. Lethal death was an accident, and you need to rise above it. This, it's moments like this that shows who you really are and what our true colors are. You are strong. Don't blame yourself, don't blame Sven, and don't push your family away. It's not too late. You can call people you hurt today and ask them for forgiveness. You want, you want to hurt others because you are hurt and you are in pain and they don't understand you. Forgive them. You don't know what they are saying. Rod has... Rod or another breeder will have another baby and then we will get another baby for you. There is hope. I truly value our friendship, Caroline and Robert. And then I says, you can do this. You're not alone. We can do a GoFundMe campaign and you can get a new baby if it's not too late. I was always a true friend to you. You can see right here my heart. But anyway, it's over now and it's your choice and I just wish you the best. That's it.